Welcome to PADT, Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS certified channel partner, we sell and support the full suite of ANSYS tools across the southwestern US. Our headquarter is in Tempe, Arizona, and we have offices near Los Angeles, California, Denver, Colorado, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Salt Lake City, Utah. In addition, we provide training, mentoring, and simulation consulting with these ANSYS tools worldwide. In today's video, I will be showing you a couple tips and tricks in ANSYS Mechanical that will help you save time and enhance your productivity when setting up your analysis. Those are not advanced options and this video is aimed mainly at relatively new users. The features that we will be discussing today are Mechanical Wizard, Object Generator, name selection, selection information, and the clipboard. First, let's start with the mechanical wizard. You can open the mechanical wizard by clicking on its icon, which is a green check mark in your toolbar. A pop-up window will open on the right-hand side of the screen, listing all the required steps that are needed to complete your analysis. By clicking on a specific step, the wizard is going to highlight all the relevant information on the screen. It's also going to point out to the location of the user input as well as a brief description of that input. The second feature we're going to be talking about is named selection. It's particularly helpful when we are trying to apply a boundary condition to a large number of geometric instances that share a common feature. For example, assume we were to apply a fixed boundary condition to all the whole faces that we have on the top plates here. We can notice that they have the same size. So what we can do instead of having to go through each single one of them is to select only one, right click, create name selection, check the box next to apply geometry items of same size, give them a relevant name and hit OK you will notice that a new name selection has been created on the tree on the left. The only problem is that the bottom plate have the same size for the whole faces. In order to remove the bottom ones, we can take advantage of the fact that they lay in the negative Z coordinate. So we go back to our name selection, right click in the worksheet, add a row, and in here we're gonna tell the software to remove all the faces that lay below the zero Z coordinate. Then hit generate, and we can notice that we ended up only with the top hole selected. At this point, we can use this name selection for any, as a scoping method for any boundary condition that we would like to apply. Next, we're going to be talking about the object generator, especially useful when it comes to repetitive tasks. For example, assume we were to do beam connections between the pair of holes that lay on the top and bottom plates. Instead of having to go through them one by one manually, what we can do is just establish only one by right-clicking, insert beam, specify a radius, and now we'll use the object generator for the remainder. We can launch it using the icon that is right next to the mechanical wizard that will open a new mechanical application wizard object generator window. And the inputs in here are going to be dependent on the object that we're trying to duplicate. In this case, since it's a beam connection, we're going to need to specify the reference side, the mobile side, and also a minimum and maximum distance in order to avoid any connection between two pair of holes that are not facing each other. Once that's done, we can click on generate and we can see that the object generator did the remaining ones for us. The next feature we're going to be discussing is the selection information. By clicking on this icon in the toolbar, a new window will pop up on the bottom left screen called selection information. 
This is particularly helpful if you're trying to figure out a certain dimension or any generic information about any feature in your assembly. For example, in this case, if we were to find out what is the radius of the circle of the hole, we would select that circle and then we can open up the window and check the radius as well as all the other information about that selection. Finally, let's talk about the clipboard. It's a relatively new feature that has been added to ANSYS Mechanical. You should be able to see it by default in your toolbar. If for any reason you couldn't, you can always go to View, Toolbars, and then check the box next to Clipboard. You can add any selection to it, or you can remove certain selection from it, or you can have the clipboard selection added to your current selection. As well as clearing the entire clipboard or removing the clipboard from your selection. We hope this video was useful and please subscribe to PADT as we will be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. If you have any questions, please feel free to call PADT Inc. Otherwise, see you next time.